Today we've got the Colt Python. Some of you might know it as the Rick Grimes Zombie Killer. Rick's not here today, but I am. And Zombie Bob, he's toast. Thanks for joining us on Shoot of the Series. My name is Ed Thorell from Firearms Education and Training, and today we're going to be shooting another classic, the Colt Python. Just before we get started, just like we always do, let's show, uh, let's show clear. We're safe. We can have a little talk. No big surprises. Well, today we've got one of my favorites, the Colt Python, and it's definitely a classic. It uh, first debuted in 1955, and it was actually in production until 1999. Colt made some out of its custom shop until 2005, and then they completely closed down production. And uh, the six inch uh, Python was the most popular. Uh, it came in other barrel sizes, two inches, three inches, uh, four inches. You could even get an eight, eight inch, what they called the Hunter, that came with a two power scope on it. But this is what we got. Six inch Python. This is an absolute classic. For a lot of people, this is a bucket list. Now, it's called the Colt Python, and uh, Colt actually was involved in marketing what they called snake guns. They had an entire line of guns named after snakes. They had a diamond back, very similar to this, with a vent ribbed barrel that was available in 38 Special. They also made the King Cobra in 357. Uh, they also came out with the Anaconda, 44 Magnum. There was even one very rare um, version known as the Boa, where they took a Colt Trooper frame and made it a, and made it to a Colt Python barrel. Those aren't very uh, common, but you'll see them around. Now, the Colt Python is a 357 Magnum, and it was manufactured as what would be considered a premium revolver. This was uh, very highly desired by target shooters, um, and in my opinion, as well as opinion of others, this is one of the greatest uh, revolvers of the 20th century, and it, it comes with a, uh, a very basic target set of sights with a red ramp, no frills, but you don't need them for this. Um, with the, uh, the Colts, the uh, cylinder release is manipulated by taking this release, pulling this back as you pop out the cylinder. It also has a full length ejector rod and it's got one of the silkiest smooth triggers on the market. Now, this went out of production primarily because of the, uh, the costs associated with, with producing them. And now, um, if you're to find one of these on the market, it could be anywhere from $2,000 on up, depending on condition. Um, this is definitely a shooter. Um, I acquired this from an LA County Sheriff's deputy that carried this every day. It was a working gun, so it's not a museum piece, but it's a great shooter to take out to the range. And everybody gets excited when I do bring it out because this is the sort of thing you want to share with others. It is a conventional double action. It uses um, the uh, uh, single action, hammer performs one function with a trigger pull. It drops. In double action, it cocks the hammer and releases it. And it comes with standard wood grips. For those of you that know me, you know, the first thing I do is put rubberized grips on it. But this is a classic. I wasn't going to do anything to change it, so kept it absolutely stock and it's a fantastic shooter. And in a few minutes, we're gonna put a few rounds down range. All right, well, let's put this bad boy to work. Well, there's Bob. He's looking hungry. Sorry, Bob. In a world of compromise, don't. Python whenever you can. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six to the head. 
Bob's dead. Anyway, we'd like to thank all of our subscribers for tuning in and joining us on Shooter the Series. My name's Ed Thorell from Firearms Education and Training. Be sure to like us, share us, subscribe to us, hit that little button set with the bell so you can get instant notifications. Y'all take care.